Hey, what's up, good people? Uh, so I'll show you today that like how to install Glut in the uh, newest code blocks. So let's start by opening any of the browsers and then typing code blocks in Google or how to search. It. All right. Then we'll click the first link that appears. Then we'll click the downloads on the left. Then the first one, download the binary release. We'll click on that. Then we'll see that that code blocks 20.03 Ming, Ming GW setup.exe. We'll click on the false hub link. Then it will download automatically. So. All right, so my download is done. So let's click open file and open the file and install code blocks. Then click next. I agree. Then again, next. Then select any of the file location you want to install it or uh, maybe there is any local list. So I'll just keep it there, the default file location. Code block has been installed properly, so let's click yes. I'll just enter setup. Then it'll on. Let's click OK. Then let's click on yes associate code blocks with C or C plus plus file types. Then click OK again. Then we'll have to click settings at the compiler. Then click on Toolchain ex Executables tab and everything looks fine. Here. Now let's exit. And we'll have to download uh, Notepad++ plus, plus, plus now. So let's go and do that. Let's open our browser again. Then close the tab, then type Notepad and then plus plus. Download. Let's click on the first link. Then the very first at the latest version. Let's click on that. And then the green download button. So it will download automatically now. So it will take about five or six seconds, I guess. Let's click on open files and install not flat. So okay. Then next, I agree. Then select the location of the setup. Then next, next again. Then I don't want to create any shortcut, so let's talk. Run Notepad, yes. Let's run it for the first time. And we can just close it for now. Then we'll have to download the free glut or free glut files. So let's go and search free glut glut. Click on the first link, very first link. Then scroll down a little bit, a little, then we'll see that there's a thing called Martin Paints Windows Binaries. So we'll have to click on that. And it will take us to the Transmission Zero website. And we can see that there is a section called Freegood 3.0.0 MSPC package. And under there, there's a link. Download free glut 3.0.0 for MSVC. We'll have to click on that. So it will just download the whole thing for us. There you go. Then we have to now unzip it. So let's go to the folder and copy the zip file or cut it up to you. So I'll just create a folder in desktop so that I can remember 
where I kept it very good then I'll have to paste the zip file and I'll use 7-zip to extract it you can use any other extraction tool you can find then we'll go into the folder and include folder at gl folder then we'll have to copy everything there you'll see four files so let's copy and go to the location of our code blocks installation files so c program files and code blocks there you go then meet gw then we'll go to the x86 with gw32 then include again then we'll have to find the gl folder there you go then we'll have to paste everything there to do this all for all current items and continue then we'll, we'll again go to the frequent folder go to the frequent folder again and then library lib then x64 then we'll have to copy that file frequent.lib then again go to the Installation the directory of code blocks. C program files, code blocks, min gw, x86, then lib, then we'll have to paste the, the file. Then we'll have to again go to the frequent folder, then go to the bit folder, then x64, then we'll have to copy that frequent.dll. Free and we'll have to go to local disk C, Windows. Then we'll have to paste that file here. Then we'll have to find another folder called SysWow, SYSWow64. We'll have to go inside that and paste the same thing again. Uh, that's it. We're done copying and pasting. And we'll have to go to the program files, code blocks, share. We'll click on the share and double click it to go inside it share code blocks and then we'll have to find the templates folder there you go so we'll have to double click on that and we'll have to find another file called glute.cvp where is it there you go here we'll have to find this file so, and we'll have to right click it then we'll have to open it with notepad plus plus or edit it with notepad plus plus anything works then we'll have to press control and F together. It will bring up this window and we'll have to click on replace and in find what section we'll have to type GLUT32. Then in replace with FR double A GLUT free good. Then we'll have to click replace all and it will be all for now and we'll have to close the window. Then we'll have to save the file, file and then save, click on save and we'll have to click yes then we'll have to save it again file and then go to save then close the file then we'll have to go to the wizard folder there you go and then we'll have to find the glute folder there's there's the folder click on that and then wizard.script we'll have to do the same thing again with this one so edit with plus plus and control plus f again and replace and do the same exact process again. Replace all. So two occurrences were replaced. So we'll have to close the window and we'll have to save it again. Save, yes, and then save it again. And then done. Your setup is done. So we'll just have to have to check with code blocks. Let's try to open a good project. Let's see if it works properly or not. Let's click create a project. And let's find glute there. There you go. There's, there's the glute project. Let's click go. Now uh, let's skip this page next time. And project title, uh, just give a name, any name. So let's just type example project. Then we'll have to like select where we, we have to put the project in. So I'll just create a folder in documents and try it. Name it glute blocks project. Just select the again, create a new folder and type glute and select folder. Next, and we'll have to select glute's location. So click browse or that dot 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 thing. And you can click on current variable new, then we can just close the window. Now let's cancel, close, yes. 
then we'll have to go to C, local disk C, then program files, then code blocks, then min GW, then x86 min GW, not that select folder. Click and then finish. And then we'll have to build that project up. So yeah, there you go. It works perfectly fine. So see you guys on the next one. Peace.